It's mysterious to people, isn't it? If you ask nine people, you might get nine different answers. It's excellent, but you can make it even more exciting if you do something with the dynamics. Every time you play a piece, even if it's the hundredth time that you're playing it, it's, it's fresh, because you may feel a little bit differently about it. So make a little bit of drama out of it. You have to, because it's very free. We don't have a lot in language to talk about that process of constructing an aural image in the mind's ear. What makes something great is uh, an unanswerable question. It's life experience being put into your delivery of how you interpret a work. All, all of what's in your life makes you. Charlie Parker used to say, if you don't live it, it won't come out of your horn. It's ability to transport me to places that I can only imagine. As long as I can remember, since I was very young, I think the music, when I heard symphonies, especially symphonic music, Beethoven third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and Tchaikovsky, and the Schubert Unfinished Symphony, it affected me physically. And sometimes it would just make me want to cry, and it still does that to me when I hear great performances. When you're playing classical music, you're playing a piece of something smell like Beethoven or Bach. Then you're dealing with all their consciousness. And, and when it's the consciousness of someone like Bach, it's stuff that people thought about a long, long, long time ago. It's like God steps into the room. Music is a way of thinking. In other words, uh, we can talk about, say, the beginning of Beethoven Fifth and say that it means fate and that it means fate knocking at the door or that it means that Beethoven was trying to make a statement or you can talk about how he used that motive in other places and on and on and on. And the fact is you come back to the reality, which is that music means da 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 That's what that music means. That's its meaning. just even one note can change the color of your emotion from something here to there. And it is that contrast and what happens between the contrast that actually makes the structure of music. Excellent. So ba It's the combination of sound, technical security, musical content of what you're trying to say, and uh, how individualistic you can make it, how, how much charisma you can inject into a work. I think it's a combination of all of those things, uh, an awareness of life put into your music, you're communicating. There's no better place to hear an orchestra than on the podium. It, it's just the best place because it's sound, it's sense around, it's surround sound. Conducting is about clear, nonverbal communication. There comes to be a shared, common understanding about what we're trying to produce. How short is short? How loud is loud? Second violins here, maybe it wasn't clear the other day. It should be the first half of the bar piano with crescendo, second half of the bar, fourth day. Oh. I'll cut you off. Okay. And could we go back to 178? 178, please. Trumpet players love mob. You know you're gonna be playing. And you're gonna have some nice solos, and you know, you get to play loud. That's mainly a lot of times on our, what's on our mind. Can we play loud? Then you can make those little violins just shiver and the oboe turns around and starts complaining, you know. That's what you really love when you're a trumpet player. <laughs> 
could you guys stop here? Yeah, bomb and you play louder. The conductor's hand starts coming up before you come in. When they come to the concert hall, you hope that one would hope that they're going to be moved, moved in an emotional way, and not just being dazzled, because I think that the technical dazzle wears off very quickly. When the time comes that you have to perform, somehow I have to train myself to forget about myself and forget about whether I am good or I am bad, but hopefully that I can flow with the music, the sound and the rhythm of the music and the energy between the performer and the listeners. I hope they enjoy it. That's all I ever hope. It's like if you come to my house and I fix a meal for you, I hope you like it. You say, man, let's go back there. <laughs>